Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan Darlington. I'm Music Director Emeritus of Vancouver Opera and I'm here to conduct Gounod's Faust. Um, it's a piece which is wonderfully delicate, wonderfully complex in many ways and tells the story of Goethe's Faust quite closely. So it was written in 1859 or first performed in 1859. He started writing in 1857, um, but he'd been thinking about it for a very long time. And Gounod was a staunch Catholic, and that's essential to understanding him, his work, and especially this opera. He carried around with him a copy of Goethe's Faust all the time. Um, Palestrina was one musical influence in his life, and there were a few others. The other one, major one, being Bach, then Karl Maria von Weber for his orchestration, Beethoven, but Mozart was his, his, uh, his god as far as opera was concerned. But I'd just like to talk about how he makes musically things happen in this piece, because the Catholic side of things is so important, as I said, and he believed that God spoke in C major. C major is it. So there are no, no sharps or flats. So this is D flat, so lots of flats. But C major, there are no black notes, so... And he believed, for some reason, that that was the key of God. And so, in this piece, you have that contrasted with this sort of chord, where the devil is concerned. And in that chord, there's an interval, which is this, which is called the devil in music. Because it's the devil in music, he uses it a lot for the devil. So you have kind of God and the devil one at the same time. This crawling, what we call chromatic. And God, this consistent C, C, C. So he's pitting the two against each other right from the very way go. Kuno's instrument was the organ. And he uh, brings it into this piece because uh, she uh, has to go to church. She's always going to church. Um, and uh, in this production, the church, she ends up killing her child. So she goes to church to pray, and in comes the devil. And the beginning of the church scene is we get this devil squirming around again for this chromatic business I was talking about earlier. All this squirming, 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 squirming. You don't know where you are somewhere, um, but we're just squirming around. And then we end up at the end of that. And she says, Senor, so God, um, per permit a humble ser your humble servant to kneel before you. And the organ comes in. So there's searching in there. And the devil comes in and says, no, you're not going to pray. He goes, no, tu ne prieras pas on top of this. He keeps saying no, and there's always this C down here. So you've got the devil speak, singing and God <clears throat> underpinning everything. And then he says, no, you, you won't be able to pray. You'll be struck by horror and everything that is ghastly in the world is gonna to happen to you. The whole scene ends with God triumphing after uh, the devil says, uh, at toi l'enfer, so to you going to hell, this. And she says, ah, she screams, ah, upstairs there, and uh, the organ brings us back to C major, and it goes, and it's this triumphant thing. So God is triumphing, which is what happens at the very end of the piece, that we end up after the devil says, damned, jugé, he says, so you're judged. And the orchestra comes in saying, you're, and the chorus comes in saying, so she's saved, which is in C major. She's saved in C major. So there is a little taste of how he puts things together. It's, it's wonderful. Come and see it.